After 14 years of professional football in England with Bolton Wanderers, where he made 347 league appearances for the club, Ricardo Bibi Gardner called time on his playing career in 2013. But instead of riding off in the sunset with his feet up, Bibi went straight into coaching. He started with the Harbourview Juniors before being elevated to the senior team as head coach Ludlow Bernard's assistant. That's barely any rest between his time as a player and now a coach. Oh, I wait. I mean, to, I mean, you're always learning the game, and it's always best to get involved as quickly as possible, or as soon as possible you get the chance to. And this is my opportunity to to to, to be involved in football. Now I've finished my playing career. It's a transition from being a player to, to, to becoming a coach. I mean, it's a whole different ball game, it's a whole different look. I mean, being a player, you, you don't see the game as, as, as the way you will see it as a coach. You think differently and you now you look back and see why coaches do certain stuff and why you were doing certain stuff while you were playing. It's not an easy task. I mean, you're dealing with big money. It, it's just you have to get your, your, your philosophy across and hopefully the players believe in it and, and, and believe in what you are trying to bring across to them. So it, it, it's ways and means to go about it. I mean, you have a team, you have, you have to know your team, you have to know your players and everyone is in it together. Harborview is where it all started for Bibi and that in itself makes life easier for him as a coach. It makes it a lot easier, to be honest. And I'm from the community, this is where I grew up. This is where I, I, I used to spend most of my life, so it's easy for me to just, to, to just come over to the club and gain that respect from the players and they also gain the respect from me also because they, they are wearing the, the Arborview colours. Bibi could have been elsewhere coaching, but he turned down the opportunity to replace Bernard at his alma mater, Wilmers. It is football, but at the moment I just didn't think Wilmers was, was, was the right choice for me and I made the choice to come to Arborview and, and that's where my focus is. But he isn't writing off his chances of one day coaching at the Heroes Circle based institution. That's my dream to help youngsters to develop, to help youngsters to try to bring out the best that they have within them during, during games and during training and during practice. And coaching one of the national teams one day isn't far behind either. It, it's, it's one of my dreams. At the moment I'm just learning, learning every day, learning to be our own different different players, learning, le learning from other coaches and learning from, from, from evil people I, I, I used to play with, even learning from the spectators, just listening to them and try to absorb e e everything that, 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 that they are saying back to you and, and just put everything together and hopefully that will help me to prepare me for, 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 for whatever the future holds for me. Bibi left Jamaica right out of the country's participation in the 1998 World Cup to join Bolton Wanderers. He even had the privilege of captaining the team a first for a Jamaican-born player. It's a big achievement and, 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 I've, and I've left Jamaica and, and, and developed that, 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 that respect from the coaches and from, and from the players to be able to, to achieve what I, what, what I did to, to receive the captain band there. And as I said, it, it's, 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 it's something that I give thanks for. And without the players, it wouldn't be possible. And, 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 and as I said, a graph day in, day out to achieve what I've achieved. He's basically a one-club man after spending almost all his 14 years in England with the club, except for a one-month loan spell at Preston North End in 2011 to regain fitness. I could have moved a couple of times, but unfortunately I didn't get to because of injuries. And I guess it's just my destiny. It's just my destiny. So I give thanks for the journey. I've learned a lot. Bolton is like my second home away from Jamaica, so I've learned a lot. The people treating me well there. and. I've given a lot to that club and I think they have given a lot to me also. Unfortunately, as I said, injury stopped me from moving on to other clubs, so it's just the way it's supposed to be, you know. And it wasn't a case that other clubs didn't come calling. Charlton Athletic did try to get his signature. He even turned down the opportunity of reuniting with father figure and former coach Big Sam at West Ham United. I mean, I was there training. I was there training with them also. And as I said, injury. Injury stopped me from moving on. So that was a part of the reason why I didn't go to West Ham also. Because you have to understand it's business. Football is business. And if they're going to invest in someone who are not fit, who is not fit, then 
What sense does it make? After leaving England, Bibi had a trial stint with Real Salt Lake, but turned down an offer with the US Major League Club. That was, that was a different case. I, I, I think at that time, when, when I went to Salt Lake, I just think about everything and everything that they have offered, and I just decided to, to, to throw in the towel. But while it was great in England, it was his time with the Reggae Boys that made him proud. He made his debut for the senior team in 1997, away to Mexico in a World Cup qualifier at age 17. His inclusion was questioned at the time by pundits and senior players alike. I never try to compare myself with others. I always try to, 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 to be the best I can be and, and then leave, leave, leave the rest up to the coach. I face a lot of challenges. But I, 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 I turn those things into positive and, and, and they tell me to, to, to even work harder, to prove other people wrong. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's hard work bring you everything. Hard work bring you everything, dedication, sacrifice, you name it. I think my teammates and the coaches play a, play a big part in helping me to settle out there. And, and within me also, there, there wasn't any fear to go out there and express myself, to express what I can do to the, to, what, what I can do out there on a football field. Everything then went like clockwork from there for the left-sided defender, who, like many other Jamaicans, saw the dream of a nation playing at a World Cup come true. It's a great feeling. It's something that it's, it's something it's something that you have to live. It's 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 overwhelming to be in the position that I was. I mean, to be honest, I, I didn't even dream of playing in the World Cup. And Simos came to Jamaica and he made that a reality. Not not only to me, but to the rest of the players and and to the entire country. Because I remember growing up, it was just all excitement around the country. Just think just seeing who we're going to carry for this World Cup or who's going to win this World Cup but to be actually playing within that World Cup and know that I'm representing Jamaica, little Jamaica within that World Cup. It was just a great feeling, great feeling, really hard to explain. Robbie Earl was Jamaica's first World Cup Finals goal scorer but Bibi was the provider of the goal that set the stadium alight as the out girls went wild. Not only them, but the entire Jamaica, and not only the entire Jamaica, but Jamaicans all around the world. And not only Jamaicans all around the world, but other people also, because they, they were so in, into Jamaica because of the reggae boys and because of Bob Marley and the music and, and the, whole, the whole thing that Jamaica brings to the world. With the World Cup qualifiers upon us again, Bibi is watching the reggae boys pick up their strides for the 2018 showpiece. I think we have a big chance of qualifying with the group that we have now. I think we have some, so, some really good players that the coach have put together. And I think we have a, we have a really good chance to, to, to give it a really good shot for, 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 for the World Cup coming 2018. I think that, 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 that was the aim for the coach and hopefully we can get on a good start and, 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 and bring back more success in football to, in Jamaica. He believes the Copa America and the Gold Cup performances give hope of the Reggae Boys securing a second World Cup berth. The group is getting stronger and they are learning to play, play with each other every, every day and it's, it's more competitive game together so I think, I, th I think we only can get better and better going forward. Come 2018 if we qualify for the World Cup we don't want the same thing to repeat so we just need to recap and look back at 98 and see where we went wrong between 98 and now and try to learn from that and try to Try to, try to use those knowledge and, and, and help us to excel. In recent times, we have seen where the national teams, seniors and juniors have threatened to strike over financial returns. Bibi believes all that can be avoided if things are done properly. That, that's always a difficult one. It's, it's one I, I, I have been faced with playing, playing in my career as well, also. I mean, it's not only the players. We are all in it together. So, I think between the players and, and, and the federation. They need to start those sto stuff out early before they go to tournament. So when the players go to tournament, they can only focus on football. Because it's something that they know about before. And just in case you didn't know, Bibi was taken to Woolmers on a track and field scholarship by Stephen Francis, but instead took up football. Not many dare to defy the orders of Francis, but Bibi did. It's destiny. It's destiny and I give thanks for my journey. I give thanks for everything that I've achieved. I give thanks for everything that I've learned. I give thanks for 
for everyone that I've, that, that I've met and I, I, give, I give thanks for the whole journey. I mean, football has brought me across to many different things, many different people all over the world, so I'm thankful. Praise to the most, you know.